What's going on, everybody? It's Mickey Indigo here with another show. And you already know, if you want in on that PS5 giveaway, press that subscribe button, press that little bell icon so you're the first to know when our video comes out because you never know when I'm dropping new info that you'll need to know to get that PS, not foe, but five. <laughs> and press that like button so people like yourself could find the channel a little bit easier. So, just wanted to talk about something. I just wanted to talk about how um, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. It's one of the things that is so scary about this year. No one's even talking about. No one's even talking about it. And like, you know, now that we got a new president, uh, for better or for worse, you know what I'm saying? Um, who knows what the future is really going to hold? You know what I'm saying? Actions are going to speak much louder than words. I mean, politics, words don't uh, go very far. So I'm hoping for the best, expecting the worst. But as I'm expecting the worst, the weirdest thing is happening that no one's talking about it. No one is talking about it. And it's really concerning me. And I, I don't understand why. Now, obviously, our former <laughs> leader of this country um, said some uh, crazy things that got a lot of people riled up. Um, and, you know, they really put their uh, livelihood on the line. Um <laughs> If I were to see that again, I would hope it's for Medicare for All or, or, or some sort of message. Um, not something without any message or meaning. But regardless, that thing did happen. Um, and it's unfortunate because obviously <laughs> the person who was getting uh, these people riled up didn't even have their back at the end of the day, it looked like. Um, so that really does suck. Uh, but I do have to say, though, I do have to say this. Uh, the one thing that really scares me is how Twitter and uh, YouTube and Facebook was just able to just take them out, just rub them off the Internet just like that. And I think it's kind of weird, man. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are cheering that on. And I understand your reason for cheering it on. And I don't really blame you. But at the same time, I need you to open your eyes. The reason I say that is because. What gives Twitter and Google and all these other platforms the ability to say whether or not the leader of our country should have a voice? What gives them authority over the government? And, you know, <laughs> you guys could go ahead and, and make the argument, yeah, it's, it's a private network, it's a private system. However, however... These are used as utilities nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I mean, our officials are, are using it to send messages and whatnot and, and, and to make announcements. You know what I'm saying? It's considered a utility, but it's it's considered a, a private company when it seems to be convenient. And, you know, they could always say, oh, go ahead and make another platform. But they already know they have a monopoly on it. They already know. So... As a lot of people are going ahead and, and cheering this on, you know, whether you feel like you should or shouldn't, that's besides the point. My point is, is that if you're going to cheer on for censorship, where does it stop? Where does it stop? Like, do you think, do you think in, in, if they could ban the president of the United States, if they could ban him, do you think like it can't happen to you or something you know it started with him now there's a bunch of other people getting banned and it's just going to be a snowball it could get to the point where if you have something that doesn't fit the overall narrative you're disappearing just like that just like that and you don't have a voice and that's scary that is scary because um that means that we're entering into a authoritarian regime i would say you know what i'm saying and and <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of ironic man it's kind of ironic because the very people that were trying to fight against it kind of pushed helped push for it but at the end of the day i mean is it just an excuse is it all just an excuse because obviously they try to say that you know he incited violence did he really i mean go ahead look up his last two two tweets you know what i'm saying um i could be told oh yeah but that could have been interpreted this way that could have been interpreted that way but like who first of all who's this person interpreting it 
Why, the, the point I made before also, why does that give them priority over government officials? Third of all, if that could be interpreted as inciting violence, then really any anything could be interpreted as that, honestly. I mean, am I wrong? I mean, what to what year? What year are we going to get to the point where bad, bad thoughts are, are, are banned, get you banned? You know, because that's where we're heading. That's where a lot of countries are, are at right now, and that's where we're heading. And a lot of people don't know. The lo- a lot of people are cheering this on. Oh, this is so nice. We don't get to hear from him anymore. Oh, dude, like, when something's taken away, do you realize they don't give them back? They don't give your rights back. Once they're gone, they're gone. So what exactly are you cheering on? Like, why are you following a narrative that someone else is giving you and then totally running with it? It's like people have lost the ability to think for themselves and people are so stuck in their own bubble. I mean, honestly, social media is the biggest proponent. I heard Facebook, one of the main ways that this this whole thing got, you know, uh, organized. And lo and behold, that doesn't get banned. Facebook doesn't get banned. Like, why, why not just turn off social media? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if that's the one creating all this division... I mean, if you watch The Social Dilemma, um, you owe it to yourself to go watch it because, honestly, uh, that's going to explain a lot of things. It's going to explain a lot of things. But, look, guys, I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all recognize what you're asking for and what you're cheering on because at the end of the day, the people on the TV don't have your best interest in mind. And there's going to come a time where they're just going to shut us youtubers down and all that's going to be on youtube was those people telling you to jump and you're going to be rejoicing asking how high i'm mickey indigo this has been a pleasure like i said subscribe if you want in on that free ps5 i love you all please like the video and i'll be back guys and of course that's a wrap If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Your continued support will keep this show going.